Welcome. In today's video, we're going to walk through restoring a database backup on Video Expert Enterprise. Before we jump into the actual restoral process, a quick note is we want to make sure that we're restoring this database on a system with the same IP address that the backup was taken from. What this means is if the IP address on the system during the backup is 192.168.5.10, we want to make sure that same IP address is on the system before we start the backup process. Before we can start the restoral process, we need to verify that the backup is available to the CMG. Now you might remember from our backup video, we actually backed up on the CMG itself using a network path and a network share folder we created. So on our system here, you can see it is local. However, keep in mind on site, this might be available on a network location and not locally. And we want to confirm that the CMG has access to that network path. Now, as you can see, from our notepad document here, we have the commands that you want to execute in order to restore the database. Now, as you can see in our notepad document, we have two lines. The first line is an example. This is where you would input your information for the system on site. The second line is with our demo systems IP address information. This way makes it easy we can now copy and paste this directly out of notepad into the command prompt to execute this command. Once we paste in the command and hit enter, it will now begin the restoral process. Now, once the process is complete, you can see by the highlighted section we have here, it shows it was a success. This is an indication that the restoral process completed without any issues. Now, the next step would be to rediscover the media gateway. If this step is missed, it is possible it can cause a problem with video streaming to the system. Now let's head back into admin portal and let's take care of removing and then re-adding the media gateway. Once we are logged back in to admin portal by opening up a browser and going to the IP address of our core, we're going to head to the devices tab. We're going to check mark the gateway. Once the gateway has been check marked, we're going to click delete, which is located in the bottom right hand corner and represent it as a garbage can. Once we confirm the gateway has been removed, we're going to head to the config tab and re add it back. We're going to type in the IP address of the gateway and then we're going to check mark the commission checkbox. Once we check mark that we're going to scroll down and click save configuration. Our system has now been successfully restored. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And remember, at Pelco, we've got it all covered.